Hey, it's Niraj, the renegade pharmacist, and welcome to my beach. Yes, well, it's not my beach, but it's the beach in front of where I live in Thailand. I live at this incredible resort called Beach Hub, which happens to be the world's first beachfront co-working space. And my office, uh, instead of being an hour commute in crazy traffic uh, in grey cold England, is about a two minute walk to uh, an office that actually has one of the best Wi-Fi connections I've ever experienced in any part of the world and this is on a beach in Thailand. I know it sounds insane but it's true. So um, I just wanted to make this video and talk to you today about sex. That's right and how sex can be the key to unlocking your power to manifest and create the reality of your dreams. Like I've literally manifested my dream life. Like it's incredible. I have my best friends uh, as my colleagues who work with me, my team. I have uh, an amazing place to work from. I do what I love for a living. And if you go back in time to when I was a pharmacist, I had a very different life. I was stressed out, depressed, surrounded by negative um, people and I was slowly breaking down and that's when I got sick and then luckily I found a way to transcend all of that and end up living this incredible life. So how does sex help us get there? You may be wondering. Well if you go back to Think and Grow Rich which is actually uh, one of my favorite books, it's a really really powerful book that has incredible content all about manifesting wealth, right? And it studies the behaviors and habits of some of the world's most successful people, okay? And in, in this book, there's this very mysterious chapter called chapter 11, right? Which is all about this art of sex transmutation. So what is sex transmutation? Well, Napoleon Hill talks a lot about the law of vibration. And he says that uh, the law of vibration is Whatever energy state we are, are, are living in most of the time is what we're going to attract into our life. So if you're living in a state of passion and joy, then you're going to attract people who are also vibrating at ecstatic states of passion and joy. But if you're living mostly in a state of depression, sadness, sorrow, guilt, anger, you're going to attract people like that too. Because like attracts like when it comes to emotions. People who are very sad and depressed they and complain all the time they tend to magnetically attract those sorts of people like I was there and when I was very much living in this kind of blame um, uh, state of mind where I was just blaming everyone for my problems I was attracting people who just do the same and we would all blame the world and complain about everything together collectively and it never got us anywhere it was horrible and I think all that negativity is what made me sick in the first place so as soon as I changed my state, magic started to happen. And Tony Robbins talks about the difference between peak performance and poor performance is not often uh, the, the ability or the knowledge that people have, it's more often the state, the state that we're in. So if you want to change your state, um, there are various ways to do it. And if you want to elevate your state, there are ways to do this. But some people, what they do is they go towards things like alcohol or drugs um, and things like that, artificial ways to change their state that actually have horrible side effects. Whereas uh, I like to um, now focus more on other ways of changing states. Ch the ways to change a state that I like to look uh, into now are actually based on ancient ways of changing state. So using music, sound, using yoga techniques, breathwork techniques, using certain rituals for raising your vibration. And there's one that Napoleon Hill goes into deep, and that is sex, and the art of sex transmutation. So, what does that mean exactly? Let's go deeper on sex transmutation. So sexual energy is the strongest force of creativity that exists in the universe. Sexual energy is what produces your life. It's what is um, responsible for every life on this planet, okay? 
It's like two people getting together, making love, having sex, creates life. It's the most beautiful uh, thing that actually happens in nature is this creation of life. It's incredible. But a lot of people waste this sexual energy. They either have copious amounts of mindless sex with multiple partners, or they masturbate a lot. And you know, I was actually one of those people. I, I did both of those things and I was incredibly, incredibly sexually active, um, but unconsciously doing it. And I was just doing it as a way for releasing stress and pleasure, all right, and having pleasure. And it was like an antidote, a relief to my stressful life. And what happens is every time you do that, every time you have, um, sex in that way you deplete your energy your sexual energy this life force energy and that can have negative consequences in your moods lowering dopamine levels it can actually deplete you of nutrients and uh, it can leave you literally feeling uh, rather low like it's, it's incredible like if you have lots of sex um, if you if, if a man ejaculates very often what happens is it can leave you feeling like a little bit like empty inside okay and that state of mind to be in is if that carries on for long periods of time which I've, unfortunately a lot of people in um in this kind of corporate rat race do they they, they enter into these states because they're having lots of uh unconscious sex uh they um end up like having very low moods and that low moods then triggers uh, bad habits and bad lifestyle choices. So it all has a knock-on effect in affecting our life. So when I learned about sex transmutation, I realized that the, the world's most successful people that Napoleon Hill talks about in his time, and even now, um, are very conscious of their own sexual energy. They're highly sexually charged people. They're highly driven, sexually charged people and this sexually, sexual energy that radiates from them uh, is very magnetic, it's magnetizing. But a lot of the world's most successful people are married and they're in stable relationships. So when you're married and you're with one partner, you have much, the chance to have much more conscious sex and together you can create sex magic together, okay? If you're not in a partnership, if you're single, you can still create sex magic, okay? And sex magic, what it is, is the ability to transcend this sexual energy, to transmute it and raise it for a higher purpose, for creativity, for creating energy to, to do the things that you really want to do in life, to even bend reality and to enhance the power of meditation. It can all be done through harnessing sexual energy. So I started to go really deep into the techniques that are out there. I looked at ancient rituals. I, I looked at meditation techniques. I looked at things like Qigong. I even traveled uh, to places uh, to meet some of the top masters of sexual transmutation. Uh, people like Mantak Chia, who brought Qigong to the West. And I learned from them and I, I dissected down rituals that I could use to help me do this. And I go into a lot more depth on this and how to do it inside Soma. And Soma is my uh, course all about manifesting in intentions, using sexual energy as a way to heal, nourish, rejuvenate your body, as a way to expand your consciousness and your, your connection with other people and yourself. And it is one of the most powerful tools. If you check out the testimonies on our page, you're gonna see some incredible results people have been having of learning how to harness the sexual potential. So I know sex is a funny subject, it makes a few people nervous and shy, but trust me, that is only an illusion. That's, that's, that's the cultural hypnosis. That's higher powers suppressing sex because they know it's such a powerful force. And when we know how to harness it and use it, instead of just creating life and having um, multiple partners and wasting our sexual energy, we can actually transmute it and use it to create reality. So if you want to learn more about sex and how to use sexual energy to your advantage, how to use it to enhance your, your uh, creativity, to use it to enhance your health, to use it to create a high end state of consciousness and have uh, flow states at will, then check out SOMA and check out 
the Soma Awakening Ritual that uses the power of breath work and different uh, yoga techniques at harnessing sexual energy and transmuting it for a higher purpose. So, I can't wait to see you inside Soma and I'll see you in the next training. Peace.